So space is silent, right? Yes, but it doesn't have to be. All this is an astronomical sonification, which is a very fancy way of saying we're using music and sound to capture the stars and stellar winds that you see in the image of this nebula. Astronomy has historically been a very visual science, but blind astronomers and astrophysicists are pioneering new ways to understand space data. Remember gravitational waves? That whoop is a sonification. It's another example of an astronomer using sound to make data more legible. Images aren't always the best way to analyze the cosmos. Using sound like this helps expand our access to astronomy, access to the awe and wonder of the universe. There's even a whole festival devoted to this multi-sensory exploration. I actually went to this festival this past summer. It was in Italy and I wanted to see whether people who are blind and partially sighted actually get anything out of uh, these fancy little beeps and boops. The festival organizers rigged up an 800-year-old clock tower to play a bunch of sonifications on a loop. And then at night, they'd project visualizations of these compositions onto the face of the tower. I met people like Mattia Grela, who's a hardcore Trekkie and was creating a patch made out of different fabric textures to represent the different parts of a galaxy. For Mattia and the other blind people I talked with, the festival was a success. They showed me that the universe really can be experienced in all sorts of senses, in sound, touch, even smell. The universe, it turns out, can talk to us in many ways if we pay attention.